Using automated vulnerability scanners is the quickest way to discover potentially exploitable vulnerabilities on a target system and can drastically increase the speed of a penetration test. There are several different vulnerability scanners that can be used in Kali to include OpenVos, Nexpose, and Nessus. The functionality and capabilities of all these scanners are very similar. Once you understand how one of them works, it's not difficult to learn how to use the others. To address the use of vulnerability scanners, I will be discussing the use of Nessus through the course of the next several videos. First, let's go through the installation process. So start by opening up your web browser, and then browse to www.tenable.com. Tenable is the company that develops Nessus. Then select Products at the top, and then select Nessus Vulnerability Scanner. Then select the download option on the right side of the screen. Agree to the licensing agreement. Then select Linux for your operating system. And then specifically the package that we want to download is Ubuntu 10.10 i386. So select that. And then save the file. And I'll go ahead and save it to my desktop. Once downloaded, you should see the package on your desktop. Then go ahead and open up a terminal. Then enter ls to list the contents of the directory. And then we'll change the directory to our desktop. And then list the contents and you should see your package. So to unpack and install the Nessus package, use dpkg-i and then the name of the package. Once completed, you need to start the Nessus service. It actually indicates what the command is to perform this action. So then we just need to enter that command. So slash etsy slash init d slash Nessus d start. And then once the service has started, we can go to our web interface for Nessus. So copy the address listed on this second bullet point. Now this may be different for you depending on the name of your local system. So we'll open up a web browser and then enter that address in the URL bar. And you'll probably get a security exception since you don't have a registered certificate for your Kali machine. So just confirm the security exception. and then select get started and then create an administrator account for your Nessus service. So enter a login name and a password. Then select next. And you will have to register with Tenable in order to continue to get your plugin feed. And this plugin feed is required in order to use the Nessus scanner. So in order to register, select this Nessus.org register address. Then if you're doing this for your personal lab, just select using Nessus at home. And this is a free registration code. And then enter your first name, your last name, and your email address. And then agree to the terms of service, and then click register. Once you've registered, you should receive an email in the provided email address, and then enter your activation code here. And then it should indicate that your registration was successful. Select Download Plugins, and this will take some time. And then once that's done, you will be presented with your login screen. So enter the account and password that you had previously created, and click Sign In to continue. And that completes the installation process, and here you have your Nessus Vulnerability Scanner interface. in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand.